Hey everyone, welcome to Sideshow's First Look. Today we're digging into the Casca Reeves six scale figure by Hot Toys from The Mandalorian Season 2. Lifting the top off the box reveals a decorative insert with some attractive photography of the Casca Reeves figure. Beneath that insert you'll find a plastic tray containing the figure and all of the included accessories. Taking a closer look at the accessories, you can see Casca Reeves right there, standing atop her decorative display base. Behind her, you can see an environmental backdrop of the hull of an Imperial Gazanti class cruiser. On the right, we see an EE-22 blaster rifle, the swap-out unhelmeted portrait, a Westar 35 blaster pistol, and a pair of jetpack effects. Over on the left is a flamethrower effect, a grappling hook, and five swap-out hands, including a pair of fists, a pair of trigger hands, and a gesturing hand. The Costco Reeves figure stands just over 11 inches in height and comes clad in the character's signature Mandalorian armor over a neutral gray fabric tactical suit with accents of faux leather. The various panels of that tactical suit feature precision contrast stitching and the pants fall into a pair of brown faux leather spats over the sculpted boots. The blue Mandalorian armor plates are painstakingly weathered with layers of grime and fine scratches. The symbol of the Night Owls adorns both pauldrons, and a faux leather belt with multiple pouches is clasped at the waist by a silver and black buckle. The helmet is similarly weathered and projects a fierce countenance with its jet black visor and articulated rangefinder. Popping that helmet off of the double ball joint enables you to replace it with the unhelmeted portrait, which features a stunning likeness to the face of actor Sasha Banks in her role as Casca Reeves. Fine variations in her dark complexion are apparent, and the multiple braids are finely sculpted and painted. The jetpack is decorated in tones of silver and indigo with a gold chevron just above each thruster. It can be displayed as you see here or with the included jetpack effects. When not being wielded, the Westar 35 blaster pistol can be holstered at the hip and the E-22 blaster rifle features a fabric strap allowing you to sling it over the figure's shoulder. The grappling hook features a stiff wire in lieu of a posable cable and can be attached below this van brace. The flamethrower effect is cast in clear plastic in tones of yellow and orange and can be attached to this fan brace as well. Both portraits will attach to a double ball jointed neck, allowing them to look in all directions as well as tilt to either side. The ratcheted shoulders will allow the arms to lift laterally a full 90 degrees. The arms will also elevate to the front more than 90 degrees as well as about 45 degrees to the back. The single jointed elbows will allow for 90 degrees of flex. And a pivot joint will allow the arms to rotate as well. The torso will crunch and extend. And lean to either side. There's also a solid amount of twist to be had. The legs will kick out to the side about 45 degrees. They also raise to the front about 45 degrees. And a bit to the back. Double jointed knees allow the legs to bend just over 90 degrees. And a pivot joint in the thigh provides ample rotation as well. Joints in the ankles will allow the feet to rotate, as well as extend in all directions. This has been Sideshow's first look at the Casca Reeves six-scale figure by Hot Toys from The Mandalorian Season 2. For more information about this figure, or to check out the wealth of Star Wars figures available from Hot Toys, follow the link below. Thanks for watching this video, and as always, don't forget to let your geek sideshow.